I was like, wait a second, this isn't the world map. Yeah, between parts I did some off-screen stuff, you may, see, may have seen the bonus video, and I decided to come into Lockbit because there's a couple of optional scenes in here once you get to Phase 4. I just want to show those really quick. I never thought that Implanted would bring even Sonya back to life. Really, no words would ever be enough to express my gratitude for this. No, it was all thanks to you since you broke your own laws to tell us where the crystal was. Really, thank you very much. Under normal conditions, I would have remained as a being that wasn't supposed to even be alive anymore. To be honest, it was I who controlled the dramatic IPD increase that happened recently. What? But you were just forced to follow orders. Still, that doesn't mean that my sins will just disappear. I am still able to detect IPDs, including those whose outbreaks are still at an early stage. And I hope I can assist in having them cured as soon as possible. Sonya, that means... Don't worry, I'll connect to Lakra. But it won't be like how it was before, since I'm able to return now. You couldn't come back? Either way, as long as there are people suffering from IPD, I'll keep working hard here to detect them as soon as possible. That is the only thing I can do to atone for my past actions right now. But still, this is something I want to do. So please, let me. But if you remain here, it's going to be so lonely. You mean for you? Oh, no, I didn't mean that. I want to see everything I've started through to the end, and it's something only I can do. Isn't it beginning to sound like a lover's quarrel? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, we look forward to working with you from now on. So, yep, that explains why we're still able to detect IPDs, because Sonya stays behind, and if we talk to Chester, we got, we got a little bit more backstory here. Chester, there's something I want to ask you. What kind of agreement was the uh, treaty the Grand Bell made with the Goddess? And what happened back then? What do you hope to gain from that knowledge? Well, nothing really, but since it became such a big deal, I want to know why. Very well. If that's the case, there's no reason for me to refuse. Oh, this song again, no! 400 years ago, our ancestors waged a war against the goddess, all because, attempt all because attempted land creation through Infelfira ended in failure. Infelfira was said to be a technological breakthrough capable of creating land without using the power of the goddess. At that time, her power had already greatly dwindled, so everyone, even the goddess herself, had very high expectations for it. However, the attempt to use Infelfira's function in conjunction with Metafolica failed, and instead the power of the goddess was drawn on. This failure caused the power of the goddess to dwindle even further, making it difficult for her to continue maintaining this land. As a result, she behaved as if she had abandoned Metafalls, and waged a war against the humans. Naturally, they fought back. And then, despite Infelfira being designed to create land, it was used as a weapon for the first time. Thanks to being able to operate it, the humans ended up as the victors of the war. Thus, the Grand Bell took the goddess hostage, and used this fact to start negotiations with her troops. Both sides disagreed on almost all matters, making the negotiations near impossible, until they found an opinion they had in common, that it was impossible for people to continue living in this land. So the goddess and most of the people gave up on Metafolica, and created a new theory called Ascension. Ascension refers to the sublimation of the soul. In exchange for putting an end to this land, everyone would live within their own soul spaces. In other words, we would abandon our physical bodies and live in an eternal dive-like state. And once we did so, the goddess would no longer need to maintain this land, vastly reducing the burden on her shoulders. In short, people would be able to escape from any kind of suffering, and would never again need fear, death, or hunger. Once both parties agreed, the goddess was transferred to Kanakana Pier in preparation for it, and the people of Mio began their research. The research was the purpose of creating the ultimate dive machine for all mankind to dive with. Oh, that was it? <laughs> what? Well, that didn't sound like a wrap up voice. So that was the gist of it, huh? A plan that continued for over 400 years. Alfman learned about this, and that was why he initiated the coup d'etat. Once he found out about the treaty, surely he was unable to accept it. In fact, I remember he once said that Metafoss was merely being traded. Because of the contents of the treaty weren't something he could be, could be accepted by someone as materialistic and utilitarian as Alfman. Hmm. And don't call me Shirley. That is all I know. I don't know if it was helpful to you, though. No, no, it was more than enough. Thanks. So yeah, there's a little bit more backstory on why Frelia was found in Kanakana Pier. And rather than make my way out of here again, especially since the enemy meter reset, I'm just gonna go back to my save point that I set up for after after I got out of here. In the pastel, you, you may notice my party set up, and I will showcase that a bit more right now. I am going to keep Shun and Leglius on the front lines until we see both of their EX attacks. Uh, if I really wanted to optimize my party right now, I would put Kokona in Shun's place, because she has great relations with Jokri right now, after finding out that Jokri is also a Revitale. But then again... Well, not, not quite also finding out that she's a Revitale, but more of uh, what happened 
with uh, saving the IPDs. So they have, they have great relations right now. Uh, Legolas and Kokona are, are, Legolas and Kloshe are still really good. And uh, off screen, I went to Grand Bell Tower and was able to recruit Ipe. She is one of the best IPDs with a plus four guard, plus four drop rate, and plus three equip skill and damage range. She is not the best, but still really good, especially for a level four. And for the others, I just kind of have... I'm just kind of leveling them up, them up as I get through battles. In fact, I didn't, I didn't change these off screen. Just to get their abilities, but the one I'm looking for will be unlocked once we get into phase five. Her name is Kasha, and she's probably the best in the game. I'll show that off once I get to her. And we also have some talk topics. I'm also going to do some dual stalls just to get some more going on. So yeah, this is, this is, is going to be a bit of a breather episode before we really get back, but that's the way it's been between phases. Let's go ahead and uh, use anything that will level up our Raven Tails, as well as new Bath Toys and Powder. So, yeah, I've got everything to get them... Let's see... I'm just gonna throw some in here, they'll get... They'll get whatever boost they get. It's not too much of a problem. Gonna sit them next to each other so we can talk. And yeah, Fruity Palette is our newest one. Could use that. And Hot Spring Forte. Here we go. Makes you feel like all your fatigue is vanishing, right? Indeed. It feels like more is draining away every second. It really does. However, isn't there any way to abate this intensely sweet smell? It bothers you too? I never thought it would smell so strongly of a color like this. Chakri really isn't comprehensible. She even called us Hot Spring Forte. But isn't it more like Hot Spring Ineptitude? <laughs> what a naming sense you have! But at least the effect is genuine. I'd rather not admit it, though. <laughs> you dissing my bath powder? <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh... Chakri, you made this pretty palette, right? Oh, yep, they are talking about it. Yes? Don't you like it? No, actually, I like it a lot! I'm glad to hear that. Well, I love bathing, too. Hmm. You almost seem like a normal girl. I'll admit I'm not normal, but I'm not so sure I like how you said that. <laughs> oh, went for cloche. Yeah, we're gonna be getting a lot more of these coming up. Um, uh, that's something I'd like to ask you. What do you think about Crow and Cynthia? How about those two? Well, at minimum, it seems their relationship is beyond that of mere friends. You thought the same thing, huh? When they're talking, they look just like a flirting couple, right? Indeed. At times, it gets irritating. Huh? I really just like the sight of lovebirds like that. Oh, uh, yeah, so you meant it in that way. Hmm? What do you mean? Uh, nothing in particular. But, well, they do look like more than just friends. It's un unlikely they're lovers, though. Wouldn't that be impossible, considering Cynthia's personality? Of course! Cynthia will instantly blush and ruin everything whenever a nice atmosphere forms. What a clumsy girl. She can't be honest with her own feelings. Hypocrite! 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 Wouldn't that make her the same kind of person as Lady Cloche? Yep, Luca, you read my mind. <laughs> Okay, is that everybody? Yep, skip the rest of this. So, just one level up. And yeah, HP drop, because... Oh, boy. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, they had previous... They had some really good eff crystal effects previously, but... We are still... <laughs> everyone's at level 63. That is... At least 12 levels higher than everyone else, so... That's some more, and it's too bad the sync level between Jockery and Cloche is so low, because they can't use co-op songs very well until they get higher sync. Let's go ahead and check these other talk topics, starting with Luca. And we just got the one. Proa, what do you think of Cynthia? Uh, well, she's a joker, but a rival friend, I guess. That's it? Uh, Luca, you're, you're not upset, are you? I mean, anyway, you take it, it looks like you've got to have something going on with Cynthia. Croa, are you sure you never used to go out with her, or are secretly going out now? Why would you think that? I said it's nothing like that. She's a friend, so I don't have any feelings like that. You said Cynthia was cute when the cockroach showed up, didn't you? <laughs> did, did I? Should I believe you unconsciously brought out your true feelings? Uh, no, uh, uh, no matter what I say, it's likely to backfire. <laughs> you can't win, Croa! Just admit it. Oh, Crow. Hasn't this pretty much become... Oh, no, I've, already, I've already done that one with her. 
Okay, we got... Okay, yeah, this was a talk topic that showed up on the speech platform in the Grand Bell Hall back in Phase 2, but we couldn't get it until the start of Phase 4, so I got that off-screen. The Sea Square has the power to make people crazy. Really? I never thought it was anything special. Did you know there's a balcony for giving speeches that's located just above the audience? If you stand there, doesn't it make you feel as if you become a leader? Don't you think that it gives that feeling? Thinking about it, I guess you would get a slight feeling of power or something. You see now? I want to experience how it feels to give a speech there at least once. I want to taste the feeling of being a leader. Although in your case, a dictator would fit better than a leader. <laughs> uh, if the room suddenly explodes from her song magic, you can only blame yourself for that one, Roa. Drakri, I have to talk to you about your swimsuit. Change! How about this one? Uh, what else would I be talking about? Well, I think it covers far too little. Too few tastes? Yeah, I thought so too. So I put a lot of thought into it. I thought I'd make one more orthodox... Take a more orthodox route and wear one similar to Shirelia's. But then I thought that it would be incredibly plain, and decided to go for something more daring. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. But even then, it wasn't quite stylish enough to wear. So I combined it with the inflatable ring and some other accessories. I was thinking to cover it up a little, if you... So little she'd be, end up catching a little cold. Well, I doubt you understand it, but this combination... Not much longer is this combination gonna last. <laughs> yeah, hey, old pie. Oh, we need two more to unlock Drakkar's level 5, and uh, we will get those a bit later. So, with that, being caught up on that, I'm gonna go ahead and save, and we're gonna head back to Dreamy Fields. Oh, you're, you're gonna appreciate it, old pie. She's gonna be wearing that for a while. That's her best costume for, for now. Let us head back into Dreamy Fields. We're going to be doing more backtracking than entering new places for a little while, because uh, rather than new dungeons, most everything else gets expanded on. But I'm going to focus on just showcasing uh, Shun and Legolas' EX attacks, especially once, boss once we get some boss fights. And there is one at the end of this area. I admittedly, I've been studying... I I've been looking at a guide on Game Facts uh, just to help make sure I not missing anything major. And that's one of the reasons why I went to Lockers, because that, that guy, that event was entirely optional. But, and there was one I missed in Phase 3. If you talk to Raisha uh, before coming to Kanakan Pier to get Implanta, that will open up another event a bit later. But I missed that one. Oh well, can't do anything about it. <laughs> Uh, if there's enough demand for a 100% run, just showing all the other... Man, I thought I'd be able to kill these guys in one round. But yeah, if there's enough demand, I will... ...record more bonus videos, basically to showcase everything I missed. And I'll, I'll be checking uh, IPDs after every few battles, make sure, because... Uh, the ones equipped up, people other than Croa really do not get a level up notification. And I'm going to stick with fighting battles just to level things up. And enemies in here are not that bad. One shot, one shot! Yes, thank you. <laughs> Admittedly, uh, running through Lakra two more times earlier helped get some level ups. Uh, this is a straight shot, and then we want to go to a place that was blocked off before. And it feels quite a while ago, even though we did all most of Phase 3 in one shot. Was that just last week? Man. Here we go. We've arrived. This is the gate to the secret space. Once I have authenticated, we should be able to open the gate. It's done. Now we can continue onwards. <laughs> 